What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back. Another figure preview video of today. We're gonna to take a look at the new Moff Gideon Iron Man version. Let's go. That's right guys, we're back. Hope you guys are excited for this one, cause I'm not. I must be honest with you guys. This, this figure, um, like we knew it was coming. Like it was not a shocker. But to say I'm excited about it would be false. I'm just not. Just not. And I'll tell you why in a little bit after we go through some of the photos. Not, not because I think it's a bad-looking figure or a bad figure. That's not why. It's not why I don't think this is very exciting. But we'll continue on. So first off, I want to say uh, thanks to Pop Collectibles for getting me some uh, photos of this guy at Secret Base. We'll look at those in a little bit. We'll look at the blogger photos first. And uh, then we'll, we'll kind of get into that. And I'll tell you why I think this is not all that exciting so let's just get into it so one we get a new head sculpt we get movable eyes we get some grayer hair moths had a rough time versus the last time we saw him he said you know had a little stress in his life fighting around with you know chasing down grogu and mando and having all that stuff go on head sculpt looks beautiful jc hong and the team did a knockout job on this guy no question about that it looks beautiful the head sculpt it looks like 10 out of 10. Like, I think they absolutely nailed it. And, and honestly, I think this one may be better than the previous version, the head sculpt wise. I think it may be better than the previous version. So, some of you guys may agree, some of you may disagree, whatever. We'll get a lecture staff here, which you he used in the scene uh, towards the end of Mando season three. And uh, that's all great and well and fine. And he's got the dark trooper armor stuff going on where he sounded like Iron Man moving around or sounded like a dark trooper moving around when he had a little, you know, the, the uh, motors moving around in his. Uh, arms and knees and that kind of stuff. And then, of course, he had, like, super strength because he's a he's a trooper now. And um, there he goes. But the armor looks great. It looks shiny. It looks like he's got a touch of red going on. I dig that. Once again, with the head sculpt looking uh, quite good. Kind of dig that. We got a little undersuit here, which is no doubt going to restrict um, the, uh, the motion and the range of motion on the arms and undersuit and torso and all that stuff, which is typical for a trooper, so no shocker there. The paint application looks beautiful. I mean, it looks like it didn't show, and you get this you get this awesome helmet. I do like the helmet, very much so. I like the red, I think that looks pretty badass. He's got the red on the inside of the cape and the red on the piping on the belt, and it just looks pretty awesome. In fact, it, and I would say I probably would not use the head sculpt on this. Not because I think it's bad, because I think the head sculpt's quite good, uh, but the helmet's just super cool. I, I dig it very much. And it might be a good case to put, oh, that's questionable. Hmm. All right, so I have questions. I saw this earlier, and then I forgot about it. The neck. Hmm. So the neck doesn't have a, uh, a cover on it, so you just see the skin tone going on there. That's interesting. That's definitely, I, mean, it, I assume it's screen accurate. It's been a minute since I've seen that particular episode. However, um... I was just thinking to myself, I was like, I'll, I'll probably use the head sculpt on a different body. I'm probably going to use the head, this head sculpt on the other Moff Gideon body. You know, the, the, uh, the question is, you know, what I'm going to be getting. Of course, I'm going to be getting it. It's a freaking Star Wars figure. I'm going to get it. But, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we got a separate head-neck combo. I, I was thinking it was like a one-piece head, and then I remembered, wait a minute. It has movable eyes. It can't be a one-piece neck thing. It's got to be separate. And then, you know, there we go. So... That confirms that. Um, you know, the head sculpt looks great. The moving eyes, the separate rolling eyeballs, I think it's cool. Uh, and then I think back to how, like how many times, how many figures I have with these rolling eyeballs that I actually used them. Other than making videos for you guys, that's about the only time I ever mess with them. And then once it's posed up, it's done. Because moving the eyes is kind of a pain in the ass. I like it. It's a cool feature. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying it's one of those things. It's like an accessory you just don't use that often. Now... If you are that person that goes around and rearranges where your figures are looking often, let me know in the comment section. I, I'm, I am genuinely curious about that. But we got his, uh, his Praetorian guards going back there. I think those are pretty badass. I'm, I'm sure we're going to get those at some point. Although they all look very similar. So we won't have to buy multiple different variants and have craziness like we did on the, uh, the other Praetorian guards from uh, the sequels. I, I think these look cool. He looks... He looks badass. Not gonna lie, he looks pretty badass, especially with the guard by himself. Maybe not not so much badass, but with the red in the background, I think it looks pretty sick. 
Uh, and then there we go with that helmet. I think the helmet's the winner, guys. I really do. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get through. I'm going to force through some of these photos. Uh, newly crafted armored suit with enhanced durability. I don't know what the hell enhanced durability means. Uh, so that's just some platitudes that uh, Hot Toys decided to throw on there. Because honestly, eh, what does it mean? The, I mean, the other figures I have aren't falling apart. So is this... I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, flame effect, moth. There we go. All right, here's the accessories. We're going to get the uh, jetpack with flame effects. We're going to get the flamethrower effect. We got electro staff deal. We got the uh, the spear thing going off. We got a crushed dark saber. We get a bunch of hands. That's fine. Let's get into the photos from Secret Base. So here's the head sculpt on display at Secret Base. Head sculpt is 10 out of 10. I have no questions that it's it's definitely. Uh, who is supposed to be Jim Carlo? And and I think it's just, I think they nailed it. Like every angle we're gonna look at here, I think they absolutely flipping nailed it. Now here's one thing you should note, and I, I'm not shocked by this at all. If you get into this high res photos here, check out all the fingerprints on this black armor. <laughs> like if this person committed a crime, like this would be enough to convict. <laughs> so just saying. It's one of them things. I, fingerprints don't bother me too much, but eh. if you could put it on display, at least you know, wipe them down, I guess. Um, but the head sculpt, I think, looks great. The accessories, the hands-wise, looks like we get all the stuff I mentioned earlier, flame effects. Oh, these are a little different uh, jetpack effects. We've seen those. Uh, the ends are shaped a little different. We got some hands. We got relaxed hands. We got fist hands. We got a pistol hand. We got a saber holding hand. We get a crushed dark saber. I mean, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. I don't mind those. That's Moff Gideon, in case you didn't know. And there it is on display. And, and you know, like I said earlier, there's your fingerprints. I, um, <sighs> what do I say about this? I'm going to tell you, this, this is what I was alluding to, why I'm not super excited about this particular release. I, mean, I, I was thinking about this. I saw it announced. Number one is $280-ish uh, retail side to this thing. And uh, that, that's one thing. But then I was thinking, when's the last time I actually went and looked at my other Moff Gideon? And it's like, I couldn't tell you. I, I know where it's at on the display, but it's not one I go back to and I go, hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty badass. I'm glad I have this figure, blah, 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 blah. Now, it's Star Wars. I'm glad I have it, right? That, that's what I'm saying. But I'm thinking out of all the Star Wars collectibles that I have, or even uh, the Star Wars collectibles that are coming out soon, um, it's not in, it's not even where anywhere near the top of the list, not even close. Um, again, not because it's a bad figure. I think the sculpted is beautiful. I think the armor is beautiful and everything. I, I think the the character and the shelf presence on this guy is just not. You know, over time, when all you compare it to all the other stuff we have on our shelves, this one doesn't blow me away. It just doesn't. Now I'll get it because I'm a sucker. I like Star Wars. I'll collect it because it's a version of a trooper, technically. So I'll, I'll end up getting this guy. But am I super excited about this this announcement? Not really. Not really. But we'll see when time comes for it to be released and what it looks like in hand. We'll kind of make our judgments then. But my thoughts right now are, I knew it was coming, but eh, that's where I'm at. Let me know your thoughts, guys, on the comment section down below. If you want to pre-order one of these and you completely disagree with me, check out Pop Collectibles. There's a link down there for them as well as a discount code. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing as well. As always, like what you like. See you next time.